So here we are on the NC Ed Cloud dashboard. This is the same place you go to log into your PowerSchool and to Canvas. But today, to get to the online textbook, you are going to find the app that says Easy Bridge. It looks like this. It has gray and blue writing. And you'll click on that. It opens a new tab, which will look something like this. Yours will look a little bit different than mine. Um, but you want to find this button on the right hand side that says Savas Realize. It has the three colorful dots in the logo, and you will click the button. This brings you to your uh, Savas Realize homepage. This is the same website that you used to get to um, the beginning of your diagnostic test. So, any kind of assignments that are given on this website will show up here in the red column. To get to your textbook, you'll click it right here in the green column. Choose the one that says grade 10. And then you're going to find the interactive student edition, which will look like this with the little eyeball and the zipper and the orange border. It's going to ask you to open a new window, so click to allow that. And this, uh, this is the first page of your online textbook. You can use the navigation tools down here at the bottom to turn pages. But that would take you a really long time to get to the page you want. So if you want to jump ahead to the unit that we are currently in, you can press the menu button. And then the table of contents. And you can select the unit that we are currently studying. Uh, for the text we're currently doing, you'll go to whole class learning. And then you'll see the metamorphosis. And that's how you get to the text that we're doing right now. Um, you can also, if you know the title, you can search in the search bar and it will help you find the metamorphosis. Um, and you can also, at this point, look at the page number down here at the bottom. You see that this is on page 33. So if you want to come back to this, you can type the page number in this box and jump directly to it as well. Now, to have a good amount of reading space, you'll need to close out some of these bars. So you'll close this right side bar by clicking the X. You can also hide this banner at the top to give yourself more reading space. This is the passage. You'll see it scrolls up and down. If you press this button, it plays the audio aloud to you. You can change the speed of the audio. So if you want it to read faster, you can speed it up. If you want it to read slower, you can slow it down. And then over in this right side bar, this is where you would find questions, um, such as the comprehension questions that you would have in the printed textbook. Uh, some graphic organizers, which you could open and type in if you wanted to. You can also annotate on this screen by clicking and dragging. And that allows you to choose to use highlight, circle, or underline, and you can also color code it. If you want to add a note, Besides just the highlighting, you can type your note here. And when you save it, it will show up right here in the text. So you have the little flag that shows you you've typed a note and you have the highlighting. And this is how you would annotate on the screen. Uh, you can also see uh, vocabulary information. You can find the vocabulary's definitions here. Um, and this should automatically save any of your annotations so that you can come back and find them again later. And that's how you use this online textbook.